Hi darling, how are you doing? Alright, so if you're seeing this message, right now, there's a lot for you to do. Like, there's a whole lot. Your to-do list is almost as long as your arms, arms lens. You're also being guided to step into the role of leadership, especially, first of all, self-leadership. When you're leading yourself, you'll be able to provide good leadership to other people. But also, what's coming in is, Also, what's coming in is the fact that people are going to be requiring your advice, your expert knowledge, your mentorship, your guidance. So this is in addition to all that you need to do. But it's like, right now, as I've seen this message, you also know that there's a lot you need to get done to become this expert. You can see where you're leading. You can see where you're being led to. You can see the position like being arranged for you, what is in your closest future but it's not like you have to wait until that point before you start being that person right now even right now you're already seeing the deficit if i'm using that word i'm hearing like you're already seeing the gaps the deficit of okay oh this is what needs to be done this is what i need to do i need to get this i need to prepare this ahead so there's just a lot of things for you to do at this time okay so this period of time finds you rolling up your sleeve, really like being very detailed, being very intentional about, okay, I need to, if I'm going to become the expert, if I'm being made to be the guide, if I'm being made to be the oracle, if I'm being made to be the one that everybody comes to, needing um, service, needing clarity, needing guidance, needing advice, needing some mentorship, then I need to have done some things. I need to have put some things in place to be to ensure that I'm able to show up in this new role as this new person. I'm able to not when I in that seat in that role of being the leader, being the mentor, I won't be distracted by all these other petty details because I would have handled these things already. Okay, and I see this happening for you in a matter of weeks six weeks but in a matter of weeks it's like you are currently now in a very very rapid rapid row rapid race <laughs> rapid race things are accelerating very fast and that's why it's also like it's like some of these things you even need to do it's not like you are it's not like you just come into your awareness right you've been aware of them previously but maybe you try to bypass or <laughs> take shortcuts and now you're realizing, okay, shit, I actually need to roll up my sleeve. I actually need to roll up my sleeve to get these things done. Okay, so that is where this message is finding you. You are being positioned fast. Like, your, your, what I'm saying is like you being on an escalator and it's moving quite fast, faster than you would have even imagined. Because at first, you were being very distracted, you were being focused on what you have to do, the things on your hand, everything. And you were not actually, um, what's the word? You were not cognizant of the fact that the accelerator started moving fast because, because your hands were just your gaze was focused on your hands and what you needed to do all the business. You were not aware of the fact that you already started accelerating. Okay, yes. Yeah, so as I said, a lot of work for you to do. Here. You guys are being positioned. If you are seeing this message, you know that. Whatever you do, whatever your underwork is, your career, your creativity, whatever you do that showcases your talents, your gifts, your skills, know that you are being positioned for a position of leadership. You are being positioned to take up space. You are being positioned to be seen. And this is happening fast. You might have been hearing like, oh, it's coming from, but now I'm telling you like it's happening faster than you could have expected. Six weeks caps. Six weeks caps, you guys are going to be saying one, one, one. This is a new beginning for you, initiation. And to the 11 and one, okay? Also, I'm hearing the 11, 11 portal is also going to be like, so it's like, right now, you're moving towards, whenever you watch this, you're going to be saying one, one, one. But if you happen to watch this video before the 11, 11 portal, what I'm here to tell you is you're moving towards the portal. And at the portal, you're crossing over. Yeah, crossing over. So it's like for some of you, you may suddenly feel like moving towards the portal, eleven eleven gate. 
nobody is seeing your work and suddenly it's like the whole world is seeing you the entire world is seeing you're like okay how did this happen but yeah i'm now i'm here telling you like okay you need to prepare it so all those little little fine tune all those little details um you get your tools get your tech get your tools the tools you need get everything ready all the materials you require get it ready so that at that point in time because i'm seeing like you are going to be so busy right now you think you're busy but you're busy more of your business right now is more in the preparatory stage in six weeks time whenever you're watching this either you watch it before the 11 11 portal or after Anytime you're watching this, I'm being told to tell you that in six weeks' time from whenever you watch this, you are going to be busier with execution. You are going to be busy with execution. Now you are busy with preparation, getting things together, gathering your tools, fine-tuning your skills, showing up, um, building your skills, your expertise, your consistency, all of those in six weeks' time. What you are going to be doing is you are going to be busy executing. And at that time, there won't be anything like, oh, I need to sort this out. And you no, know, you need to sort all the certain things, <laughs> all the things you need to sort out. You need to sort, out, sort it out now, okay? So you guys, I'm seeing like limelight shining on you, you getting attention. And it's also like, because right now you are so focused, you cannot see the momentum building up. But the momentum, the momentum is building up. So in six weeks, all is just going to come is like, Ta-da! We are here. Are you ready? Ready or not? Here I come. That's just prayer to say. I'm gonna show you. It's like you're going to also show you like you've been keeping the faith. You've been holding strong. You've been staying focused. Okay. You've been keeping the faith. You've been staying strong. You've been you've been holding strong. You've been staying focused. And now spirit is like, okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, okay? So you've got sanctuary, privacy, respected boundaries and taboos, experiments, manipulation of force, forcing change, okay? And the magic of the Coelian Druid, caution, secrecy, worry. All right, you guys may also be seeing three, three, threes. See, there's a lot for you to do. There's a lot of information you need to process, you need to exchange, you need to share. Okay, so you guys may find yourself at this time speaking a lot, writing a lot, publishing, creating things, but a lot around information exchange. You are going to be passing a lot of information across. You are also going to be receiving information, but I see you more of being the one passing information across. There's also something about you being seen as a leader, as a guide at this time, as an advisor, someone who others approach advice guidance clarity like oh how should we do this how do you think we should get this done what do you think how do you think we should go about this play how do you think we should make this move how do you think what strategies do you think we can you know and that so at this time my friend like you see that your words are traveling far farther than you've ever gone for some of you your words might even be traveling to places you've not seen you've got a king of king of swords here okay your words are traveling to places you've not seen. You are speaking a lot more. You guys are going to be a lot more verbal as you are seeing this video. You will feel like you have a lot to say and you may feel like you are rushed. There's no time to say all the things you need to say. Okay, so if you are considering, um, I'm also hearing for some of you, you need to focus on the books you are writing so that you can get them published in time. But there's a lot here around information processing information and then converting the processed information into or the processed data into information that people can readily consume and things that will be helpful so it's like you're taking a lot but you're now putting it out in a way that is processed and people are able to absorb and use it for their own good but there's a lot around you getting a lot of you know what i'm saying is like a lot of a swarm of people, a lot of people wanting, seeking your advice, seeking your guidance, seeking your mentorship. Like, okay, what do you think we should do? How do you think we should proceed? How do you think we should go about this? How do you think we should move forward? Okay, so you guys may also have earth placements prominent in your chat, but not compulsorily. But there's something around you. I'm also hearing you have to be careful of 
not being overwhelmed by all the stress there's something around nervous anxiety coming through so stress um, nervous tension anxiety also don't doubt yourself like you really don't even see how masterful and how much of an expert you are you really don't see how wise you are you really don't see how much your how much your expertise is such you really don't see because you can't see yourself clearly but there's something about you learning to relax really learning to trust yourself learning to trust the words that are coming out of you learning to trust your guidance learning to trust your wisdom learning to trust the knowledge and um knowledge awareness understanding and wisdom you have to share okay but people are going to be seeking your attention so don't hold back from being a sort of guide mentor expert at this time advisor okay people are going to be seeking your advice don't hold back from that you guys you might also be pulled to buying lavender flowers or smelling lavender okay there's also something around you so if you feel yourself feeling a lot more anxious than usual or stressed or doubtful or worried you know for some you might be having this should i say it's expert guilt you know what you know but sometimes you kind of like question yourself like am i really really sure but that's the most part of the field it also helps you to keep so that you don't feel like you know everything it's also going to help you to push yourself push your boundaries try to learn some more try to have more experiences now what is also coming through this factor be careful of the advice you give out okay don't be quick to don't be rash in your judgment don't also be quick to judge others there may, there's something around like maybe people coming to ask you for advice to do the wrong things but to you it's because you're looking at it like this is good this is bad this is right this is wrong but something about you having to look at their context their perspective try to put yourself even if you can't necessarily put your put yourself in their shoes but look at their context their perspective their angle the angles they're coming from and try to give them a partial um a non-biased non-partisan very plain advice okay don't try to advise them from the point of view already casting them in um, negative lights like oh no what you're doing is bad you shouldn't do that no try to see things from their own perspective try to see things from your own angle try to understand each, each person's context that's going to help you a lot as you step into the role of this um advice or guidance you guys may have Sagittarius placement significance okay you might also be seeing feathers a lot. <laughs> might also be seeing feathers a lot. So feathers, lavender, feathers, lavender. I mean, you're seeing arts also. Um, feathers, lavender, arts, black arts. Um, crows as well. Crows, ravens. Crows, ravens are significant. Crows and ravens are significant. Any final message for this book? Yeah, so even as so all in this period, as people are the more you the more your advice is sought, the more your expertise is sought, the more your wisdom is acknowledged, understood. Always make sure that you put those boundaries. Your boundaries are going to be very that's what the boundaries are also going to help you in not judging and just being very impartial in seeing things on a very balanced scale okay in seeing things on a very balanced scale but your boundaries are going to be very essential for you at this time so that you're able to stay within yourself and you're able to offer impartial advice so it's very important for you to maintain your boundaries know when to say okay i need my me time i need my rest time i need my break time okay i'm not going to be able to attend to this right now i'm not going to be able to attend to that right now you have to learn to put in your boundaries so that you are not drained so that you can continue to function at your optimal self okay so you can continue to function as your optimal self as, as your op optimal rate so you've got here twice think first before you judge and then you've also got transparency being honest authentic very genuine 
and very present in moments okay so you have to be very careful as you're stepping into this role yes you've got the wisdom yes you've got the you've got the expertise you've got the guidance you've got the words okay you've got everything to be able to share with others be able to inspire them be able to motivate them just be careful as i said you have to stay balanced okay so one thing that will help you stay balanced is also your boundaries when you are crossing your boundaries when you're overstepping your boundaries is is always linked to you not trusting yourself you not respecting yourself okay not respecting that what you're saying is the truth even if the other party doesn't want to hear it it doesn't mean that that's not the truth it just means that they are not ready to hear that truth okay so as you move through this what i'm also hearing is like you are also stepping into this new lead so as you move into this new is this new lifespan this new area of life because and this is what i'm saying is this is already happening this is if you're not so right now if you're feeling like okay i've got all the wisdom but nobody's asking me for advice give it six weeks in fact two to six weeks max two to six weeks max you're going to get some people like ah can can you help me can you can you booking consultations with you asking for your advice guidance expertise all of those but two things you need to hold on to as you go into this new because what i'm also hearing is like a new lease on life it's a new level you've never really played at this level before you've never really played at this level before and it's normal for you not to know the pitfalls so two things spirit is bringing to your awareness is the fact that you have to make sure that you protect your private time a lot like now it's going to be more essential the more you point so that the more you in fact you put double the amount of effort of time of love of care into yourself so that you'll be able to show up for others in a way that is going to remain impartial balanced honest genuine and authentic do you understand so you have to make sure that your boundaries are strong secure your sanctuary you take time out for yourself is going to be very very essential in this new level for you to play successfully at this level the way you love yourself the way you take care of yourself your boundaries for yourself is going to increase it's going to double it's going to increase it's going to double <laughs> see one thing i'm they're pulling me to can you see the gate so it's like in your safe space you can still be able to operate but you have to know where your energy limits are where you need to cap where you need to close it i'm like okay no go book another appointment i can't do this right now sorry i'm taking some time off for myself you have to know when to say that is very 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 essential it's very essential it's one of the pitfalls you have to be aware of don't feel like you have to, now that you have so many people coming to you asking for your advice asking you questions asking for your guidance don't feel like now is now when you have to overdo it. no in fact this is when you know you need to know when to do less when you need to do less to be able to gain more you are not going to gain value from doing more at this level no you have to do less to be able to gain more okay then second thing you should be aware of is the fact that you also need to be very authentic remain very authentic with yourself you guys might also be feeling pulled to wearing pearly jewelry like jewelry made of pearls okay so feathers ravens candles jewelry pearl jewelry um black hats those are coming in through as things you're saying your immediate reality to help you tap into this message to help you understand the depth at which this message and this guidance is playing out in your reality okay um so lastly as i'm you're telling me to round up so lastly as i'm rounding up i'm going to pull an affirmation card for you let's pull this one lastly as i'm rounding up there's also something about just emphasizing that two things boundaries and authenticity that's all those two things those two things are going to take you very very far this level you've never gotten to this level before that's the truth you've never been at this level before and you've done a lot for you to arrive at this level now two things are going to ensure your success at this level and your continued growth is boundaries and authenticity the more you're being able to be authentic with yourself honest with yourself truthful to yourself the more you'll be able to be authentic truthful and honest to other people 
it's like the cats coming they're like round up already okay so guess what can you see it's safe to slow down relax and let go as i told you you don't feel like you have to do 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 now that everybody wants attention don't feel like you have to always be on like you have to do 24 hours no now is when you even take more time for yourself take more rest period for yourself okay because you've got sanctuary privacy and then you've got it's safe to slow down relax and let go and guess what's the one <laughs> I am ready to go big, rise up, and step into my path. All right, my love. If you are seeing this message, I hope the audio feedback is not so bad. <laughs> I love this message. I love when like the messages just come together. All right, my love. So if you are seeing this message at this time, spirits want you to maintain your boundaries, maintain your boundaries, point to yourself, and be very authentic. In this new level you're going to you tell me show you the affirmation cards again so see it's safe to slow down relax and let go and i'm ready to go big rise up and step into my power all right my love i love you if this video resonated just make sure you like and if you're not subscribed why not i love you Mwah.